Hello, parents and families. This is the announcement video for third grade, the week that starts with May 4th. I'm so happy and excited to let you know that you only have seven more days of instruction at home. I have emailed you the daily schedules for this week and also for May 11th and 12th. That'll just be two days next week of instruction, a shortened week. With that in mind, please take a look at those schedules. There are some things that we're not gonna get to finish next week and that is okay, but I gave some challenges for those of you who I know some of your children might want to finish out the end of the Heritage Studies book, which ends with President Barack Obama and President Donald Trump. Also the help and the final math test. They will receive all the instruction for decimals. All right, so this week's Zoom meeting, today, Monday, we will have a Zoom meeting 11 o'clock covering English. We'll go over the coronavirus journal entry for the day and the keeping up lesson. On Wednesday, 11 o'clock, we'll have a math lesson. Hopefully Wi-Fi will be working well at the school for me that day. And we will have our last one-on-one -on -one reading sessions this week, Thursday and Friday. When you come to the school this Wednesday, May 6th, between nine and 12, you will be able to drop off all the work that your child has completed through May 5th. And there will be yearbooks that you are still available for purchase. I think they're $30. You can leave cash and check um, there on our classroom table, or you can pay with your credit card in the office. You can also still submit your order form for the vacation station, that summer review book, preparing for fourth grade or being ready for fourth grade, $19 to submit with that. Uh, let's see. You will also know that on Wednesday, May 6th, the progress report will be available for the past three weeks of grades. Go onto My Schoolworks and click on Report. View that progress report on Wednesday or later and sign off that you received that progress report. You'll also pick up a bag with the things that your student will need to continue with instruction. And I'm gonna be sending home some more items. There's 3D shapes, their Black History Month folder, Spanish folder, and music folder. I might find some other things that I'll go ahead and send home this week so there's not so much for you to pick up the following week. You will also receive a list of all the items that I need to be returned on that final day. And last thing, I just wanna share a video with you of what you will see for math this week. So they're going to be starting decimals. You have a packet full of manipulatives for decimals. And I wanna show you this, this uh, homeschool video, which is the one that you will do on Tuesday. And I'm gonna kind of forward to where we will see some of the math manipulatives. So right here, you're gonna notice that your child has the hundreds, tens, and ones, but for decimals, they're gonna use these back sides where you see the red hole, and then the orange side is gonna be the tenths, and then you'll have the hundredths as well. And so the homeschool teacher will go through that. I also wanna show you in another section that all year we have used the place value pocket chart that you see at the top that has the one millions and on, but that decimal value pocket chart is something new that they'll have for this lesson. This homeschool teacher will teach them how to read decimals correctly, but the decimal is read with the word and, like five and three tenths. They'll be able to have hands-on experience with that and have a great review and lesson throughout this time and let's see another part of this that i want you to see is right here you'll see that they will get to work with these mats that have ones tenths and hundredths they'll be able to have that conceptual understanding of what that means and what that stands for and then the last thing i want to show you is this chart right here again they'll get to put those numbers you have in little baggies they'll get to build their decimals and really understand how to say this one and two tenths and how to write it and how to build it. So I just wanted to allow you to take a look at that real quick so you can be ready to, to help your child and I hope you're taking advantage of those. 
Well, this is wonderful. I am so excited for this week. Please know that by the end, by May 12th, your child's gonna have completed spelling, English, reading, math. Now, they're gonna receive all the math lessons. The last math test isn't gonna count. That's gonna be a challenge if you want to do that. They won't have completely uh, completed the health book. The last major quiz will be a challenge, but that book is for you to keep. The health book is for you to keep. The history book is for you to keep. That is their books. If you want them to continue over the summer, that's something that you could do for reading. You will notice, just take a look at those schedules, both schedules. Um, there are two separate attachments on, on the email. You'll read the challenges in there. All right, well, God bless you. I hope that you are um, feeling strengthened and encouraged to start this this week like a race that you're gonna run and I hope that you will finish well with your child. Please let me know at any time if you're frustrated, you have any questions, I'm here to help you and I can't wait to see everybody on Zoom. Have a great day and a great week.